So what is a dialogue flow entity? In this short video, I'm going to make you a ninja around AI and dialogue flow and how to set up your entities the right way. Hello, I am Smarty with the ProEdge team and I'm glad you're here. If this is the first time you're seeing me on this channel in this video, this is part of a playlist on my channel around AI and dialogue flow being attached to your many chat system. So you could create intelligent conversations when people message you on Facebook Messenger. Let's hop over to dialogue flow and explore entities. Okay, over here on dialogue flow essentials, uh, you'll find entities on the left hand menu right under intents. If you missed the first video, I went over intents. So let me kind of categorize both of those. The intent is basically what is the person intended to say when they send you a message on messenger. In my example earlier from the other video is I want to buy a three bedroom, two bath home in Philly, maybe a sentence that somebody sends over to you on messenger. And that is a phrase that the bot needs to categorize with the appropriate response. Now inside of uh, the intent are words that could be categorized as entity types. So an example would be a house. So if they're looking to buy something, uh, what are the different types of things they could buy? So the bot gets smarter and smarter with the combination of entities and intents. So in one case, they may say, I want to buy a house in Philly, or I want to rent a home in Georgia, or I am looking to rent an apartment. Well, a home and an apartment are both residential types. So that would be an example of an entity that you'd set up in your real estate bot. So when you go over to entities, uh, I just did a quick search of all my entities and I have this property residential and you could see the different categories that I use as well as the different types of phrases that somebody may ask. So in this case, I'm looking for a house. They may say a detached house, a house, a single family, a home, an apartment may be a condo, condominium apartment, a duplex, halfplex, triplex. I'm looking to invest in a duplex. That may be something somebody asks you on Messenger and you need to be able to respond. On a townhouse, it could be a townhome, a townhouse, right? Uh, a cottage, a vacation home, it could be a cottage, a vacation home, a cabin, a summer house, a, a, a summer home, a retreat, and then you have Airbnb. So you can create as many of these uh, sec categories that you want here in the entity so that when people are messaging, the bot's gonna understand the different ways people are saying things and can categorize that. And then we can use those entities to map back to many chat fields. So that way the bot gets smarter, can collect information from the buyer or seller to fields that you could send over to your CRM. How awesome is that? If I hit save here and I come back to entities and I just get rid of my residential, you'll see I have all different types of entities from payment types to getting problems, dealing with problems um, that, you know, people have problems or errors or, or they're trying to solve something that could be a, a, an entity type. You'll see I have three pages of entities here. So uh, up in here, um, people may be asking about features of a home. So I have exterior features. Uh, bathroom features, bedroom features, interior features. I've taught this AI brain and, and dialogue flow with my ProEdge chatbot, all different categories and ways people can say things. So I'm looking for a house with a large garage. That would be a feature, right? So in the feature, if you look at exterior here, exterior, you know, I've now categorized the things that they could ask for. I'm looking for a stucco house or a stone house or a brick house. Well, that's different characteristics or entity types of types of homes that somebody may be asking for. So that is how you use entities inside a dialogue flow. And if I come back to intents here for a second and I look at the buy one, you'll see that these are mapped, as I showed earlier, back to, in this case, if I look at I'm looking to buy a house, um, the entity type was property, residential, and the value was house is what they put in there. And then on the left-hand side, the parameter name, you could actually map it to many chat fields 
for that subscriber. So now the bot, they say something on Messenger, and for that person, I'm looking that their action is buy, and they're looking for a home or a house. So now I can go back and have a conversation with that buyer and helping them find their dream home. So that's how you use entities along with intents inside a dialogue flow. So make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss the next video. I'm gonna get into knowledge, learning, fulfillment, all different capabilities that you have inside a dialogue flow to make you an AI ninja. And of course, if you don't wanna become a ninja yourself, I have the Pro Edge chatbot for real estate below that comes with a full AI brain and bot sheets to put you into a nice position to lead your market as a top realtor investor in town. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't subscribed, hit that bell, subscribe, and hit that like button if you like this video so we could share this across the YouTube channel. Enjoy.